the sun produces enough energy in one hour to power all human activity on Earth for a full year. 120,000 terawatts of energy reach the Earth's surface every second. And this energy is used to heat our planet, generate weather patterns, and provide energy for photosynthesis. Since the Industrial Revolution, the world's primary energy consumption rate has accelerated. The international community consumes over 510 quadrillion BTUs per year. While the combustion of fossil fuels have powered the global economy, the world's fuel mix has constantly favored fossil fuels that release greenhouse gases, pollutants, and particulates into the atmosphere. The world currently emits over 9.8 billion metric tons of carbon per year, which has led to unequivocal warming of the climate system. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's 2013 assessment attributed climate change to anthropogenic sources. It cites the unprecedented rise in carbon as the cause of warming oceans, diminishing ice cover, and increased concentrations of greenhouse gases. Our future depends on the ability to find a substitute energy source for fossil fuels in order to provide a carbon-free fuel. Moving away from hydrocarbon combustion engines, hydrogen fuel cells convert chemical energy into electricity. Hydrogen does not occur naturally as a gas on Earth, but through electrolysis, Electricity can be used to separate hydrogen and oxygen bonds in water, thus producing both gases. The catalyst splits the hydrogen molecule into protons and electrons. The protons can pass through the membrane. The electrons cannot, and have to pass through an external circuit creating useful electricity. The fuel cell can then produce electricity, heat, and water without any greenhouse gas emissions. The most compelling method to produce the hydrogen for fuel cells is through photosynthesis. Natural photosynthesis occurs when light reaches the leaf of a plant. With sunlight and water, plant molecules within the leaf split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen is released into the atmosphere, while the hydrogen is bonded with carbon dioxide to produce glucose as food. Through artificial photosynthesis, it is possible to extract renewable hydrogen fuel from water for energy consumption. Although the idea was proposed over 30 years ago, Daniel Nasera at Harvard University pioneered the modern design of the artificial leaf. The artificial leaf operates just out of a glass of water. Just like a leaf, sunlight comes into the silicon, and then like catalysts, split water to hydrogen and oxygen. The artificial leaf uses a combination of the cheaper, more widely available materials, cobalt, phosphorus and oxygen on one side of the wafer, and nickel, molybdenum and zinc on the other. When the artificial leaf is inserted in water and put under light, the catalysts in the artificial leaf break down the water molecules. On one side of the vessel, oxygen gas is released, and on the other, hydrogen, which is then stored to be used as a fuel source. The artificial leaf has many benefits. It mimics the natural process of photosynthesis by converting solar energy into hydrogen fuel, which reacts with oxygen to produce heat and fresh water. The reaction is carbon neutral and the byproducts are environmentally friendly. Hydrogen fuel energy is essential to our energy future because it doesn't emit carbon. If we change the way we actually make our energy and move away from carbon emitting combustion, then we can finally reduce our carbon footprint. The artificial leaf also has potential for economies of scale. Current high prices in the experimental stage can be attributed to design and initial variable costs. With increased production and decreased costs, the artificial leaf could become an economically viable power station. Although the models are still in the experimental stations, artificial leaves could be powering homes in less than a decade. Like all energy options, there are drawbacks to artificial photosynthesis. The metals used in the leaf pose potential environmental consequences from mining and transportation. Additionally, researchers have encountered serious difficulties while attempting to prepare the actual molecules to mimic chlorophyll. Further research must be performed in order to determine the optimal metals or dyes to catalyze a hydrogen and oxygen electrolysis. The largest obstacle is the current efficiency of only 0.2%. However, this is 10 times more efficient than natural photosynthesis, and the necessary ingredients of water and sunlight are easy to obtain and replace. Since sunlight is renewable, low efficiencies are less relevant compared to carbon emitting efficiencies. The current technology is far below comparable sources of renewable energy, but membrane and catalyst research will lead to upcoming improvements. Of course, no energy option is perfect. 
Although the best course of action is to increase efficiency and decrease usage, there are limits to efficiency. Artificial photosynthesis is the most compelling future source of energy due to its common elements, renewable energy origin, capability for storage, and environmentally friendly byproducts. In conjunction with switching to hydrogen fuel, the artificial leaf could become a crucial piece of a progressive, domestic, and environmentally conscious energy portfolio.